What's going on, everybody? Young Skittles here. Welcome back to episode two of Agrarian Skies. Uh, in today's episode, uh, we're going to tackle this ice problem. And as you can see, we're already down 200 notches, and we're going to take care of that by eating uh, apples. I have four, and you're thinking an apple gives two and a half hunger notches. Why are you eating four? Because Jaded Cat made it to where only oh, you get half a hunger notch. For someone on the Feed the Beast team, I don't know. It's always Jaded Cat. Note to self: when encountering any mod pack with the term with the name Jaded Cat attached to it, bring your own food. Hashtag B Y O L. Uh, no joke. Uh, this this is now uh, with hunger overhaul. Only a morsel. And morsels really only give half half of a hunger notch and. We need to tackle that issue today. Let's take our crap. Just take, yeah, just take our crap and uh, put it in a chest here. I'm gonna take our wood and all of this and a part builder. Part builder go there. Tool station there. Stents the table there. And then we open this. Awesome. And we're going to take our barrel and stick it in the corner here. Now today's challenge for us is uh, to craft all of these items. And this one's going to be a tough one for us because we need to get some stone. When we get stone dirt and we get dirt from uh, the compost. I say that all weird and there's a tree growing in my face. Hello tree. You have interrupted myself. You've interrupted myself? Are you pool? I've been watching too much mind crack. Pools. Uh, so since this tree grew and I was about to grow it, let's cut it down. Get started with uh, crafting some of this, this uh, making making another dirt block because I want to save what we have. And I just slid, and I know why. It's because I was on ice. I want to take care of that problem. So that's the end of that. I'm gonna cut this tree down, and if we. We're going to need some string uh, for this. So what were we getting into? What were we making? We were making a fishing rod, a wooden hammer, and a bed. For that, we need string. Uh, and for string, we need to take some of these silkworms that we got. And... And make... use them on a tree itself to I'm trying to think ahead here and, and, uh, and converse at the same time and it's not really working out that well uh, we gotta something's in the way here is this pickaxe be a pickaxe what we gotta do is we gotta Grow a tree first. Uh, use a silkworm on the tree, and that will progressively turn the leaves white. That uh, holy crap! How much bone meal do we got to use? Apparently, that much. Oh, another apple. Uh, and in oh man, I'm doing. I, I just enough. Okay, so we'll, uh, right click on a leaf with uh, silkworm, it'll make it into infested leaves and progressively spread to all the other leaves, changing them to a white textured color. We'll just get rid of these here since we kind of have already defaced half of this tree. And then what, we're, what we'll do is once those all spread, one, two, three. We'll take eight saplings, and we're gonna come up here, and 
put eight saplings into this oak barrel and progressively this oak barrel will turn these saplings, wheat, potatoes, zombie flesh, um, that's all I know of right now, that's all I've actually tried, uh, into uh, dirt. And you can kind of see through this leaf that uh, the texture of the grass, uh, or the green, is getting uh, darker and darker and duller and duller. Now this, this one's almost ready to harvest, and we use that, and we harvest it with our crook. Uh, these crooks are really quintessential to the whole process here. I'll let that spread. It hasn't spread yet. I don't know that it will now, since we've cut down some of the leaves. Oh, yes, it has spread. It does spread randomly, apparently. Or I guess. So we're gonna let that spread, and we'll come back once once this whole tree is uh, ready to be harvested. So I will talk to you progressively throughout this whole video. But uh, we will cut away until all this is ready. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Alright, we're coming back here, guys. We are slowly but surely spreading around on these leaves. This one is finally spread. And what we do is we take our crook. Once fully grown, just beat them to death. Now, that one turned green, but it is a mere graphical glitch, per se. Uh, and it still gave me string, as you saw. So if we, like, look at it, uh, I think that's a, a whale thing. I don't know. I know that... Uh, any eye highlight tool tips will kind of bug out with leaves like that sometimes but here it says infested leaf and we break it now of course now there is a chance of string it's not a hundred percent but this is how we get string and uh, the infested leaves will not give saplings so that's something to think about too uh, make sure you actually have you know some spare saplings when you are uh, making of these. And we definitely have to unfreeze that water. Which sucks. Now the one under here, the source under here, there are two source blocks, so yes, you can make an infinite spring, but no, there is not an infinite spring. So that's uh, something you have to do too, is uh, make an infinite spring. And uh, it's not something to do right away. Uh, although now that I think about it, it would probably hinder quest progression of some degree down this tree line until... Ah, I guess not, because uh, this the, the fish one requires you to catch a fish, uh, and this one requires you to make a bucket. And uh, you'll learn how to do that without iron ingots right then. So I guess, I mean, you, you then would move this... Uh, you'd make an infant spring, and then, then do then continue. So I guess it kind of adds a step. And so we got 15 string and no saplings there. We do have some spare. I, I want to plant one. And we do get some more silkworms from that too. That is great. Now we need... Uh, do, 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 okay, we got some logs. I want to make some more sticks. One, two, three. It didn't go there. We got fishing rod. And we need bed. Uh, come out of there. More planks. Boom. Bed. And it was also a wooden hammer and then the sieve, which we don't have enough string to do that yet. Uh, so we'll kind of... Uh, well actually, let's grow this tree out. It's always in my face! can't access anything around here. Just take uh, two silkworms. Actually, let's take all three silkworms. And this will be another uh, string tree. As long as I have one sapling, I'm not worried about it. And I don't care. I don't, I don't need that leaf anyway. So, we need to make a wooden hammer. To do that, it's two sticks, two wood, wooden hammer and we need 17 more pieces of string and while we're waiting on the string to grow 
uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look into our part builder here. I went ahead and made a pattern chest which will hold any or all things uh, pattern related to Tinker's Construct or cast. Uh, and in here I went ahead and made a pickaxe, a tool rod, and an axe head pattern. Now, uh, bone are all valid materials. And I guess, I guess, uh, in the map that was included by Jaded Cat, that Jaded, did, she didn't make it, but she uh, went in, you know, kind of put the, put, she put the strong box, and I'm going to assume she put the contents inside. Uh, she put in three stacks of bone meal rather than a stack of bones, which equates to the same. And I guess that would be, uh, you know, kind of to prevent you from, you know, making more tools until you get to, is it this quest here or this quest here? Uh, eh, actually, it's this quest. And I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, it doesn't bother me. If there's bones, it might be. I don't know if that's how the pack is supposed to be played out. Um, but I, I think it, it balances is itself out. Uh, since you know, f this, this is kind of a, you, you need food to survive, and you know, bone meal grows food quicker. Uh, food right now being oak trees, uh, and the random chance of apples. Um, I mean, you can either use the bones to you, for tools, or you can use them for food. And as I see, and how I see it, uh, you know that that judgment call there is sort of like uh, you know the the Minecraft UHC event. Uh, what if you know? What if I did this differently? You know, in the end, when the map's said and done, uh, done and over with, whether you you die, you, you die. Uh, you, you, the map deletes itself, or, or whatever. I mean, that's kind of your judgment call. So, for me, I'm going down the tool path, and I'm going to take the pickaxe head, the tool rod, and the axe head, and use bone uh, to, get a, to get a head, and it uses one bone, and that will give me one. Uh, and then, uh, the axe head, you take that out will give me one as well. And we'll put that back, and then if we come to our tool station, and we take our pickaxe, and we give it a bone head, no we can't give it a bone head, we can't give it a, can we give it a bone, can't give it a bone. Do that, do that, we can't do that. Hmm. I don't know why that is, um, but you can, uh, you know, parts can be replaced. Apparently not. I mean, we can't do it with the axe. Can't even give it a tool rod. Um, hmm. So I mean, I guess I just you, you know, may have wasted three bones there, but um, yeah, it's interesting. Interesting. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. We're gonna, we need 18 total string. Let's move that down to our hot bar and uh, take a look. Ah, and it's snowing. I guess this isn't too bad. No, we're in a taiga here. And that's six. Probably not even going to get 18 from this tree. But we are getting silk. And this is going to be an issue. Something I didn't think about at all while while uh, planning this out. And let me change a few video settings here. Let's take V-Sync off. Let's turn off smooth lighting because I don't really need that. That should be on max FPS. I don't know why that never was. Change it to minimum though. We'll come back. Let's take a look at our FPS. Drastically lower. Well, I guess we'll go off. 
We'll go fast. Definitely turn clouds off. I don't know why those were still on. Eh. Guess we'll do that. That should fix things. I don't know. The snow is kind of... Kind of doing it. Now that I see this, I'm going to change this back to fancy. Because I do like that. But how's that going to do it? I don't know. We'll play it by... I... We'll eyeball it. Oh, and uh, when it precipitates, I say precipitate because it's snowing, uh, we get water in an oak barrel. Which will be useful later down the road. And that's 12. We're going to need more of this. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm playing around with this a lot, but... We're, minimi we're minimizing it. Cause I, I, it, it's still a bit too choppy for me, and we need what, one of these. No, not that. This we need one of those. Whoop! Crap. Uh, and oh, a crook. Let's continue potentially getting string here. And we need one more. There it is. Awesome, and we're still collecting. We're collecting. Still collecting. Awesome, awesome. This is going to be nice. Uh, it's not quite, not quite ready. Oop, oop. Get some short pick here. Or, or axe. Harvest down the tree. And then regrow it. So, grab another sapling. Put that down, and we're going to need two of these. One, two. Okay. We're going to need this and that. And we're going to come here to make our sieve, or sieve, however you would like to pronounce it. Pronounce it. I don't care. I'm going to pronounce it how I pronunciate things. And we've got to think of a place to put this that's not near the edge. Um, put it here. Now, now that we have a sieve, what we do is we go into our chest, put that away, put that away, put that away, put that away, put all of that away, and we put that away, and we need this hammer, we need this dirt, uh, put that there, the bed, ooh man, I don't know about a bed on this, on this island, clear the snow, clear the snow, sleep, apparently it's Oh, okay. Whew. That scared me some. And uh, before we check our quest log uh, to see where we are standing on today's quest, um, actually, I'll go ahead and check it because hmm, I'm gonna go with cotton. Just be, just so I don't have to do the silk with the tree and waste a sapling, I'm trying to get some string. Um, all the other sheets can be obtained through the next uh, level of pro processing, uh, which now we have updated uh, in on along this quest. Uh, we cannot claim our reward even though we have completed it. We must make our first stone, and to make cobblestone, uh, you need. Uh, a bucket of water, a bucket of lava, and an igneous extruder from thermal expansion. Uh, but that's even further down the road, so for now we'll just stick this dirt uh, into this sieve and we'll get five of these stones. And when crafted as such, we get a cobblestone. And when we take a look in here, we can now claim our reward. And we get a nice little tune to go along with that. As well as a nice enchanted axe. Uh, heart. We'll 
put our heart. We'll put our stone. Sort that. Cotton seeds. Sort that again. And we get a bane of arthropods 5 on that, so it's it's not really it's it's okay. There's nothing I would use. And now what do we do with this cobblestone? Well, take a look at our quest log here. We go back, and now we've opened up uh, Melting Stone, as well as Fishing Trip, and Be Resourceful. Unlocks from quest elsewhere. When we look at the Fishing Trip, we must now uh, catch a fish, and to do that we're going to need a water source that's not frozen. So, uh, and to get the water source, we must complete this quest and get clay, bucket, and an unfired crucible. To do that, I believe we should use, we should actually go down this line first, under the bee resourceful. Uh, and, and, this, and this is where our sieve is our best friend. And this is what I was talking about with the heart as a pick one option. It says full heart here, but it's not always full heart. And then the reward bags are the same. There's no lore. So we need one sand, one cobblestone, one gravel, and one dust. Now we have the cobblestone, and we could submit that. We could submit that. We could. However... Um... Yeah, I think we will submit it. Uh, and we're going to grow out a tree. Cut down tree. Hmm. Crook the tree. Or at least the leaves. Cut her down, cut her down. And we're going to need at least three more pieces of dirt, so I'm going to get those three pieces of dirt, and I will meet you back once I have those. Alright, we're back, and to wrap up the episode here, uh, I have planted one tree, one tree, uh, once when I when I cut away, and the 35 logs that you see in my inventory had came from one tree, as well as these apples, balls ton of saplings, uh, of which I am currently turning into dirt uh, to make three more pieces of dirt. Uh, come on, and uh, there are still there. I'm letting those decay. I mean, this tree went clear clear up probably like. 10 blocks or so. And I'm just letting these decay. And if things fall over the edge, they fall over the edge. It's no biggie. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, this is huge. This huge tree. And we get dirt and place our last piece in here. And while that's processing, what I'm going to do is take this to dirt. I know, I know you're probably asking, why didn't you just use the dirt and the... Uh, dirt chest, and there's a valid reason for that. Uh, that's something that you should not be... That's dirt that shouldn't be used. And we got grass seed from sieving dirt, which is kind of cool. And if we put those in there, actually keep one. Holy crap. Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, eight, four. So I have four extra. It's not bad. And what we do with this dirt, or this dirt now, once we turn it into cobblestones, we take this wooden hammer, and we hammer it out, and we get uh, we get a gravel from that. So if we open our quest log, we can now manual submit the gravel. Now we need a sand and a dust. Uh, and for that, we're going to need these two pieces. Well... This gravel heat. We're going to turn this cobble into gravel, and then turn this gravel into sand. And then we're going to take this sand, and we turn it into dust. And then we can submit the dust. 
And we're just going to pound out this other dirt and submit it uh, into... Uh, we only got three, which can happen. But also, sometimes we, you know, we get five, uh, which eventually it evens out. I don't know at what point it does, but it does. And for here, it just happened to even out. Uh, and then we get the sand. Manual submit, and we can claim our reward. Now we can pick the full heart, and I'm going to elect not to pick the full hearts. Although it's probably a smarter one. But I'm going to pick the... Uh, the middle reward bag. And we get all of those items back, plus a half heart, and a pick of misfortune, so, I mean... That the the heart thing doesn't bother me too much. No, now we got a half a heart and two quarters of a heart, which we can combine these two and this to make a full heart, uh, which mathematically I don't know if I want to wait and do that or not. Let's take a look at our quest log here. This gives us a quarter. This gives us a quarter. So the next two quests will give us a quarter, so I won't combine those right away. Uh, but if we take a look at our bag, we got a yeah, we got a basic bag, and if we put uh, I don't know, put our two apples here, uh, just so everything stays sorted out, sort the inventory, and see what we get. <laughs> Ooh, we got corn seeds. Nice. And use that. Uh, these are used to make seed soup. Um, that's about it. Uh, what's that make? Uh, you get corn, which is a morsel, which can be made into butter and corn, and make corn on the cob. You can make zucchini bake. You can make corn meal. Garden soup, which is a light meal. Mixed salad. Ew. Interesting. Smelt it to make popcorn. Hmm. This is something we'll have to think about now. Uh, I mean, f of course, we'll need water, and you know, for that we'll need some sort of light source to keep it from freezing. So, oh, we got some kind of vegetable. That's nice. Uh, we got more sea or more dirt, uh, or not dirt, but saplings. We ended up turning those into dirt. And uh, I think that's, that's going to do it for today, guys. It's all, it's all that we got for today. We're running a bit long. I, I like to keep videos under 25 minutes, at, at, if possible. And we're just a few minutes over. So until next time, guys. Uh, next time we'll be working on the Melting Stone uh, quest. And until next time, guys. Uh, I'm Young Skittles. Uh, if you like the video, you know, leave a like. Uh, yeah, leave a comment, uh, subscribe for more, or, uh, stick around for more Gerarian Skies coming to this channel semi-regularly. Uh, I don't know when I will upload them. Uh, it'll be here, though. Uh, so until next time, guys, bye!